you know about the fisherman who passed? He didn't jump off the ledge, he just stepped out into the air and then pulled the ground up towards him really fast, like he was pitching a line and went fishing for concrete. The earth is a drum and he's hitting it on beat. The reason there's smog in Los Angeles is because if we can see the stars and we can see the context of this universe in which we exist, we can see how small each one of us really is against the vastness of what we don't know. Nobody would ever audition for a McDonald's commercial again. And then where would we be? No frozen dinners and no TV. And is that really a world we want to text in? Either someone just microwaves popcorn or hear the sound of a thousand people pulling the heads out of the rasses in rapid succession. The people are hunched over in Boston. They're starting screen printing companies and app stores in Brussels. They're great in Los Angeles. Like they got fish hooks in the corners of their mouth. But don't pay me like a good guy because every time I write, I get to choose the angle that you view me and select the nicest light. You would not respect me if you heard the typewriter chatter tap, tap, tapping through my mind at night. The same stupid tape loop of old sitcom dialogue and tattered memories of some girl I got to grind on in high school filed carefully on rice paper. My heart is a colored pencil but my brain is an eraser. I don't want a real girl. I want a tracer from a catalog. Truth be told, I'm unlikely to hold you down. Cause my soul isn't proud to dump a train of people keep deciding to get the next one that rolls through town. I'm joining the false movement in San Francisco. I'm frowning and hunched over in Boston. I'm grinning in Los Angeles like I got fish hooks in the corners of my mouth and I am celebrating on weekends because there are 7 million, 47 million people on this planet and I have the audacity to think that I matter. I know that it's a lie, but I prefer it to the alternative because I got a tourniquet tied of my elbow. I got a blood wrap filled with compliments and I'm burning and you say go to sleep, but I've been bouncing up my mind through walls since I was kind of small where every agent went to talk inside ourselves like Russian nesting doll. My mother is an 8 year old girl. My grandson is a 74 year old retiree whose kidneys just failed and that is the glue between me you. That is the screws and nails. We live in a house made of each other. And if that sounds strange, that's because it is. So will somebody please freeze Tom so I can run around turning everyone's pockets inside out? And remember, you didn't see shit. You didn't see shit.